I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms for a couple of purposes and then if you're interested I have uh, Google Forms embedded and you could practice using it. First thing I'm going to do is show you the two applications that I use it for and then I'll show you how to make it. And the first one I'm going to show you is sitting right here in my Hartnell class and I asked them to type in the email address they used to create their WordPress account and then their username so that I could have it in one very easy to get location. So I'm just going to type something here and show you how it instantly works. This is embedded in the class and so it pops up in that format and then it gives them that feedback. And then you can see that it goes automatically into an Excel spreadsheet um, instantly. And I want to show you, you know, it's time stamped. It's a super easy and quick way to pull information like a survey in a place where I can cut and paste it and have it real handy. So possibly this could be used for research purposes or just to gather information. That is one application for me. The other place that I put it in my class is in my um, health class. I use it as kind of a prompt. And I don't know, I sort of see it as sort of a, an option instead of clickers. And I ask them to respond uh, to my little question at the beginning of class. And uh, those people who are sitting there with their laptops can add immediately to it, or they could have gone on the day before. Uh, that's not very likely to happen. And then let's go look and see what happened with the answers. Here are the different weeks where they answered to my other questions and so forth. And then you can see this is my, my answer here. And what I do is I have this up on the projector and we discuss the answers and you can see it's anonymous. I don't have to make it anonymous, but um, I think it helps for those people who are too afraid to put their hand up and it ends up being a good guide for the discussion to follow. And so I'd like to show you how easy it is to make one. So create form. And here's where you can select whether to be anonymous or whatnot. But um, the option I've showed you is, is to keep it anonymous. If that would be up to you, of course. I'm going to make a form to put into WordPress so you can reply to me. And um, their choices are kind of cool, text or check boxes. If you wanted to make it really easy, they could just check stuff off. The next thing I'm going to do is choose my theme uh, to dress it up and make it look pretty. I'm going to pick this one. I haven't seen it before. And here's how it looks. So I'm going to apply it. And at that point, it gives me a chance to edit. And the next thing I'm going to do is get the embed code. Control C. And I'm going to go into my website. I'm going to add it in there. If you feel like it, uh, you could um, type in techyteach.com and go over to Google Forms and find the little form right here and uh, type in your answer. And I will go and check and see what you've put and I will share it with you. I will wait and share it with you because you won't know what it is yet. I'll share it with you on Friday. Okay, thanks for watching.